Hi guys, Hyperladov here, the Norwegian gamer. And this is some gameplay from Homefront, where I'm playing some... Uh, what's it called? Team Deathmatch, actually. Team Deathmatch. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, I, In this video, I kind of wanted to give you some um, thoughts on Homefront. Now, after a while, and now it's been out for a while, and um, as you might or might not know, I was really into the game when it first came out. I um, thought it was awesome. I had a lot of fun with it. It was a bit laggy, but that stuff got resolved, and I was really enjoying it. And it's, I have been kind of on and off with the game since then. I, I may see some gameplay of it on YouTube, or I might just <laughs> accidentally notice it in my um, games list in Steam, and you know, fire it up because, oh yeah, that game was so fun, I need to play it some more. And um, I end up firing it up and I might have fun, you know, for a match or two. Then I kind of realize why I often leave the game just after a few matches and let it be for a week or two or even three weeks. And the reason is that it, it doesn't... It's kind. Of, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, in Call of, uh, this game is kind of a cross between Battlefield and Call of Duty. And in Call of Duty, you've got you you drop people really fast, but you've also got this these small tight maps where you kind of have to be twitch. You have twitch senses so, so you can see other players first and kind of get on target and get them before they get you kind of deal. But in Battlefield it's more about the tactics and often and often uh, more about outsmarting the other player in a more tactical sense than just being the first one on target. And as you might know it also takes a lot more bullets to drop people in Battlefield than it does in Call of Duty. And in this game, you've got the kind of cross between the bi big large maps and the fast, the small bullet count to drop people. So when you've got long lines of sight, it's easy to take enemy players down if you just control your bursts a little. Because the fact is that there's not that much recoil in this game. And if you burst a weapon, they're pretty darn accurate and since people drop so fast you end up being able to take people out at a long distance and what's especially annoying is people being able to find camping spots and being able to take people out at a large you know, at a far distance without being really challenged and it's kind of difficult to take them out and optimally you would be able to take them out with a drone or something like that, but people aren't running. People aren't taking these. The guy, people that are camping are the ones that have the um, battle points to actually buy the drones. The people getting t taken out never accumulate enough points to actually take them out, and the people do, that do have enough points for the battle dr uh, for the drones. They don't necessarily play for the whole team, so if they don't get bothered by someone, they'll not. They won't take them out either with a, with a drone. It, it's kind of hard to explain, but the fact is that when you drop people in so few shots, it's not very. Um, it's 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 not a good mix with the fact that there's these long lines of sight in these large maps. I don't think they go too well together, because in Battlefield, you can take out the cover, you can just blow away the wall that they're camping behind and get them. In this game you can't, I mean, there's literally no bullet penetration whatsoever. Not even thin sheets of metal, you can't even shoot through those. Even wood is impenetrable. I mean, it's ri that's actually quite ridiculous. And when people are camping behind these uh, surfaces, you can't even take them out by shooting through the wall. You'll have to kind, you'll have to flank them or 
do some kind of a maneuver to actually get to them. And that's even worse than in Call of Duty, because in Call of Duty, at least a lot of the surfaces are penetrable, so you can shoot camping campers through the walls. Here that isn't even possible. I mean, it, it, it seems like this game really tries to make make campers happy and it's really annoying because it's a real good game but these campers laying on roofs sniping people really gets you after a while and it is almost impossible to get them because you're the only one it's, or as at least it seems you're the only one trying to take them out and if you try to go out to the open they'll pick you off it's too bad you know well, that's the end of the video, so it's all that I have time for. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Snackis.